Hi everyone, welcome back to Mr. Mesh's Lessons. I hope that you are having a great day and I hope you're excited for another video review. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Unfriended by Rachel Vale. This was picked up at the library before all of the issues with the current virus going around. I had been sitting on it for a while. I hadn't initially been too excited to read it, but it seemed interesting and I thought it'd be a nice piece to pick up and see what was going on with it. I finally decided to pick up the book because I was feeling a little nostalgic for middle school. Certainly not going to school, that wasn't the most enjoyable experience. It was quite awkward, as I'm sure most of us will agree, but more so the foods, the video games, the time with family. Those were very formulaic times for me in middle school. I was looking forward to picking up a novel that discussed those times and would hopefully fill me with a little bit of that spirit. I have to admit, the novel certainly does fill you fully with the spirit of middle school, and whether that was a good time for you or a bad time for you, I think we all have a few central things. It was kind of weird. Everybody was awkward in middle school. We were trying to figure out what we liked, what we didn't like. We were really learning about popularity. A lot of us were getting maybe acne or facial hair, so it was very much a growing period. Um, if you have ever seen Pokemon, middle school was certainly the Ivysaur of the Bulbasaur line. Bulbasaur was nice and cute when it was young, like we were in elementary school. Ivysaur was awkward and a little weird um, in middle school. That was us for sure. And in high school, we were all uh, Venusaurs, hopefully. Rachel Vale does a great job of capturing that feeling, but... Is it really something you want to go back and relive? That was a question that I asked myself several times as I was reading through this. Middle school overall was decent for me, uh, but the novel really highlights the negative parts of it. And the biggest part was the awkwardness. The title of the novel comes from the fact that one of the girls left her best friend to join the popular table. Uh, she was essentially unfriended Hazel the best friend of Truly was unfriended by Truly and left for Natasha's table of the very popular kids. Wow, uh, already sounds a lot like middle school and we weren't even 10 pages in, but the novel was interesting. Um, it kind of touches on how everybody in middle school has their own issues, everybody's suffering, everyone is trying to learn and grow and be themselves and middle school is certainly a weird time. A lot of people take for granted the fact that kids are spending almost as much time at school as their parents likely are at work. It's basically a full-time job. This novel certainly captures that essence and the angst that we feel about growing up and looking back at my middle school years. It was some of the some of it was really important for me but other parts didn't matter. I can't even remember all of the things that I thought were important in middle school that have no mark of importance on me today. The other part which you may consider positive or negative was all of the drama that was in the novel. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of drama, so that didn't stick out with me too much, but I would say if you do like drama, if you like reading drama-filled stories, if you ever watched and enjoyed Mean Girls, this might be the thing for you. I personally didn't enjoy it too much, but it is very drama filled and some of the things that go on, you just, you can't help but, you know, ha 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 ha, oh my gosh, you feel like you're in middle school again. My biggest complaint about the novel was that it wasn't written terribly well. Most of the time, the novel feels like it was written by a middle schooler. I don't know that I would want any of my writing as a middle schooler to be published. It certainly wasn't great. I'm not sure that that was the greatest part of the novel, but it is very charming because it sets you in the time. Another major complaint I had about the novel was that it was very hard to follow. While the novel flowed decently, it was hard to see how long the novel progressed through. I would say it would have been a few weeks and but it's hard to really say because the characters bounce around so often. Chapters are about an average of seven pages each, 
which sounds pretty enjoyable, but I ended up reading those seven pages and then putting the novel down rather than zooming through a bunch of them. This was something I read in my spare time. It wasn't something that had me totally engrossed and excited. Certainly the characters were interesting. Certainly they were very genuine. It felt like middle schoolers, but because it bounced around so often, every seven pages I was going from clay, then I was going to truly, then I was going to hazel. It ended up making it pretty difficult to follow. While I found this to be a very creative way of publishing a novel, at times it had texts from characters, at times it had the inner workings of characters, and in other times they were hanging out with their friends. Overall, I would say an experiment. I wouldn't call it a successful experiment or a failed experiment, just an experiment, and I don't know that I would want to read another novel like that. Overall, the novel was decent. This is great if you are in middle school. This is a guiding light if you are in middle school. I hope that middle school students pick this up. I think it was a wonderful piece that would work well between the ages of 11 and 14. If you are any older than that, 17 or 18, you may shrug your shoulders and roll your eyes at how silly and ridiculous some of the things in the novel are. And, and if you are any younger than that, you probably won't be able to connect to it. But I would say if you are either A, in middle school, or B, feeling nostalgic about middle school, pick it up, give it a try. Uh, overall, I'd give it a six out of 10. I would read it again hesitantly, but it was overall decent. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.